okay guys it's me again and in today's video it's gonna be about how to fix your igpu in open core so today is gonna be a short video so let's answer this question from this subscriber so first of all you need to have the hacking tool in your machine so let me open my hacking tool and then you need to mount your EFI so just open your EFI so this is my EFI so let me minimize this one so first you need to let me minimize this one so what you need to do to fix your igpu just go here to patch and then select the type of cpu that you have for your machine whether it's ivy bridge skylake kaby lake so in this video i'll use an example of this machine kaby lake since the Ventura does not support the Skylake graphics, so we just move this Kabilek. So, as you can see, uh, this platform ID is for GPU name is Intel HD 630, and as you can see here, uh, my GPU is so as in in real sense this machine is skylake intel hd 530 since we are uh, need to spoof the kabilex cpu so that it can run on mac os ventura you need to add a gpu that resemble your skylake cpu so if it is intel hd 530 you need to spoof the intel hd 630 so I'll put a link in the description where you can read about all this. So let's continue. So here, as if you choose your, you need to choose the the real Intel HD. So if you have Intel graphics like 640 or 540, just choose and make sure. If it is for a laptop, you make sure the mobile part is yes and if it's a desktop just change the make sure the mobile is equal to no as you can see here so mine i know it's this 12 12 x 0 x 59 12 so and then come to the vram so here you can choose your you can decide to enable this one and then you can see from you can see the mobile no and all this and then come to the connectors and then here you can again choose your and you can but i'll just make sure i leave it like that so on the patch here is where you can just go to the advanced just leave the general tab alone and then go to advance and here you need to you can enable the display to hdmi you can use this for the audio or the hdmi and then you can if you if you can't allocate your dvmt on the bios just enable this one and then if you need to scoop to spoof the audio sorry you can just check this one and then generate the patch if you want your vram to be 2000 or 2 gb you just enable here so as you can see mine is 2 gb so if you want it to remain on the 15 36 just uncheck this one so and then click on generate patch 
so after generating the patch go up here and then export as bootloader config p list so and then save it somewhere you can save it at config.hd and then let's save it on the desktop and then click on save okay so and you are done so here just open it with open call configurator and then just cancel it and then come here to device property as you can see it has generated for you the the one for graphics and the one for audio so what you need to do is just copy this one and then just open your efi config.plist open it and then go to device property and then you just paste it there and you are done since i've already set mine i will not tamper with it and then you need to copy for audio just again just copy it and then go to your here and then device property and then you then paste the audio and then save your save your config.plist and you're done restart your machine and then you are your intel hd will be working just fine so that's it for this video guys please subscribe to the channel share and i'll see you on the next one